Undertale is a game best experienced yourself, so if you haven't played it yet, I recommend you don't watch this. That's some weird music. Is that they're like angrily playing an organ or something? Alright, nothing new from the dummy. Soul of Wisdom, welcome! Oh ho! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! Obviously we'll hang out. Okay! Stand behind me! Psst! Make sure to give her this! She loves these! I, I don't think she does, Papyrus. I don't believe you. Also, you gave me an item, you jerk. <laughs> oh, God. She's, like, in a whole different context. She's not, like, she's not nearly as filled with determination. How do I tone down her voice while still keeping it as undone? <sighs> Greetings, Doom! I'm going well. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! <laughs> Hi! I don't think we've... Oh, the eye, the eyeball to the side looking at Papyrus. That's, that's really subtle, but I like it. I like that a lot. Why don't you two come in? Here, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you! On their own! Uh, uh thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. So are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! Hey, Ludith! Got a spook warning. I'm sorry. I might I might go to uh to Napster Blick's house again later and then, then mega spook over there. It's true, he never actually even gave me the item. Phyllis Lick, how's it going? That was amazing. It just tumbled out of the window in the best way possible. Oh my. Nice, Phyllis. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Man, how am I supposed to answer both? Like, I don't want to do it. I'm not doing another Bassmas run. We're only answering this question once. Well, it would be nice. It would be nice. I mean, she'll be probably upset either answer. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? Never with you. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Let's, 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 let's be friends. Let's be friends. It's cool. Really? How delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship! Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd be 
light you up right now! You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams! I will never be your friend! Now get out of my house! Ding! What a shame! I thought Undyne could be friends with you! But I guess... I overestimated her! She's just not up to the challenge! That's, that's actually pretty smooth, Papyrus. I, I, I like that. Challenge? What? Papyrus! Wait a second! Darn it! He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke! I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day! I'll show him! Listen up, human! We're not just going to be friends! We're going to be... besties! I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else! <laughs> it's the perfect revenge! <laughs> Why don't you have a seat? Ah, <laughs> oh, new face, new... Ah, oh, man. This is really good. I can't believe he looked through the window like that. Normally he nails the landing. Sit down and progress? No. No. <laughs> Humans suck, but their history it kind of rules. Cause case in point, this giant sword! Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? Absolutely. Ha! I knew it! When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? She's not always being sarcastic with that voice. I, I guess I gotta maybe tone that down a little bit. That's okay. Papyrus jumping through the window is literally your favorite part of the game. I I think that's a good pick, I think. That's a pretty good pick. It is yeah, that's that's amazing. It's 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 a high tiered moment for me for sure. Oh yeah, there's the piano she was playing. Look inside the bone drawer. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Winky Dog. Good to see that Wink again. Yeah! I bet the stove isn't clean, specifically. That's my assumption. This oven is the top of the line MTT thing. But, you know. As much as technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. Nope, she's using fire magic too. Never mind. There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. I hate cold food, so Elf has fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge. The world's greatest invention! And the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. One time, Alphys's, uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes! <laughs> That's. I, I'm not sure if I'm picturing the right specific reference, but I like it anyway. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. Hey, Logium. <laughs> yep, another dog, Telva. 
You want to see my room? Too bad! No nerds allowed! Well, maybe some nerds. Uh, I've, I've pictured like a combination of Metaton, Calculon, and Hedonism Bot, basically. <laughs> What? I'm not gonna serenade you! You're being kinda creepy! Mm -hmm. Oh, damn it, I meant to hit fall fast. False that time. We're too fast. Liar! I've read Alphys' human history book collection! I know all about your giant swords! Your colossal alien fighting robots! Your supernatural princesses! <laughs> There's no way you're gonna fool me! Alright, time to escalate the hangout. I'll get you something to drink! <laughs> what are all those things? All set! What would you like? <laughs> hey! Don't get up! and enjoy yourself! <laughs> um... Why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear! <laughs> Sugar goes in tea, sure, sure. On time! <laughs> Soda, sickly yellow liquid. Hot chocolate. Green cylinder. It's not. It's not green. <laughs> that now the visuals are uh, lying with the text, not just the color of the text. It's freaking me out, man. T box blatantly correct choice. Fridge full of food. Sword acquired taste. There's so many good options. Hey, Jeff Cricket and Jay Smithers. Drink selection intensifies indeed. Undyne's insurance rates must be terrible. <laughs> uh, I mean, default choices are Undyne and Sword. Uh, I also kind of like Fridge. I don't know, there's so many good options, I have, I have no idea. Let's, let's go with Sword. Let's start with Sword. Believe me! Gladly give you your fill of swords. If you weren't my beloved house guest, the fridge. You want to have the entire fridge? No. <laughs> just, just a simple no. I like that. Are you? Are you... hitting on me? <laughs> that sugar's for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? The human ice cream woman terrorize humanity? With energy spears? Are their ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? I mean, yeah, pretty much. What? Really? That rules! The 
fingers for tea, okay? Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. <laughs> That's fine. I think soda's gross too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit! Huh? Why do I have it? <laughs> that face? <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> what? Y you want to throw the spear at it? Oh! You want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait! I just remembered! That container's empty! I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle! Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard! Do doing her voice, like, happy is, is hard. I, have, I, I don't have a good idea how well I'm pulling it off, but... Tea, huh? Coming right up! It'll take a moment for the water to boil! <laughs> oh, okay! It's... It's all done! Here we are! <laughs> On the table. <laughs> Careful! It's hot! <laughs> it's not that hot! Just drink it already! You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend! Hey! You know, it's kind of strange that you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies! Sort of. <laughs> like the sort of. Oh man. <laughs> you know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt... bad. But he was beaming. I'd never seen someone more proud to get their butts kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well... I mean, it's not that he's weak. 
He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why... I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry! I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus! His cooking lesson! He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! <laughs> That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking! Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine! <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends! <laughs> Let's start with the sauce! Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy! Now! Pound them to dust with your fists! How will you pound strong? <laughs> mm. Oh, this is so good. I think we need to do Wimpy. <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna have to let you down on that, I'm sorry. They're so on the floor too. You pet the vegetables in an affectionate manner. Stop petting the enemy! I'll show you how it's done! Yeah! One slice? That actually, uh, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... We have the noodles! Homemade noodles are the best! But I just buy store bread! The cheapest! Uh, the store brand noodles pasta is actually just fine undone. Like, there's there's a, a definite difference to a uh, homemade pasta, but even uh, uh, high uh, high level uh, foodies or whatever still still don't see anything wrong with uh, with dried pasta. So you're you're actually fine there undone. It's cool. It's cool. <clears throat> I can see it, Gunther. I can see that. Yeah! Uh, just put them in the pot! How will you put them in? Uh, fiercely. <laughs> that seems like the wrong option again, that's okay. <laughs> you throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clinks against the empty bottom. Yeah! I'm into it! Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Are we making a risotto here? You don't need to stir that, that often, but I, I, can see, I can see the intensity. Don't, don't forget to salt the, the water on that. You'd be disappointed if you forget to salt the water. The, then the pasta can absorb the, uh, the salt flavor through the water as it's absorbing the water, and it uh, adds a nice little settled saltiness to the inside of the pasta. They can't quite get the same effect just salting it afterwards, so... Ready? Let's do this! Stir harder! Harder! That was a little too high pitch. Ah! Let me do it! <laughs> That's the stuff! 
All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into the burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Right. Hotter! Hotter, darn it! Hotter! Wait, that's too... Papyrus sucks at cooking. <laughs> so, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Uh, oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! I've been defeated! My house is in shambles! Oh my god! <laughs> Music is so, so it's faster paced for a different theme. Holy crap! Oh god, I got I gotta relax for a bit, of guys. This is too intense. Although I, I'm uh, I'm happy that like I was like sitting here like ah, oh, I'm not I'm not really feeling this like friendly undying voice, and then like cooking happens. I'm like yes, I could go right back into her same passionate voice. I love it. I love it. I even failed to befriend you! That's it! I don't care if you're my guest anymore! One final rematch! All out on both sides! It's the only way I can regain my lost pride! Now come on! with all you've got! Yeah! Undyne is letting you make the first attack. Fake attack. You didn't know about sleeping at the end, Gunther! Oh man! You didn't, you didn't talk to the uh, the little bunny at the side of the inn, then. They, they tell you that going to the inn can raise above your max HP. Yeah, if you if you sleep at an inn in this game, it goes... It puts your HP above your max. Mm, it still increases your HP in a standard playthrough no home, just not as much. I imagine if you get enough kills, like in a genocide run, then uh, then it might not increase your HP anymore. I'm like afraid to do a fake attack. Let's uh, let's check. This time, don't hold anything back. Show me what you've got! Huh. Do your worst! What's the matter? Scared? What the hell is the hold up? Already. It's getting hot in here. We should we should put out the fire, and uh, it's it's cool. We don't need to fight. Let's let's put your house out before before it burns down. No, Lizolf, I've definitely not done a pacifist run. I've done a neutral run before that. Why would I be doing another pacifist run now if I'd done one before?
Okay, that's what I thought. You do have to do something. <clears throat> you pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. Manage? Even attacking full force! You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it. It reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you were an Asgore fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Foo hoo hoo! Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you! That's what friends are for, right? Foo hoo hoo! Now, let's get the hell out of this flaming house! Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowed In, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. <laughs> he walks away with her arms stretched out. <laughs> oh, God. Ifaritu, welcome! Whew. Now I can call Papyrus and Undyed at the same time. Sounds like only fire lives here now! <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's one of the best lines of text I've seen. That's, that's really good. <sighs> that's Undyne's house. It's a great place to uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's my house. Hi, Undyne! How did you get here so fast? I ran. Wowee! Undyne! Someday I want to be as strong and sweaty as you! So you ran here just to be on the phone? Yep. Then you must have something! Extremely cool to say about your house! Nope! Whew. I feel like the hot, the fire's making me hotter. It's probably, probably just the intensity of the cooking session and the voice of Undyne. <laughs> 